Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to create a Microsoft Teams meeting inside of your Outlook. So let's get into today's video. Alright, if you do not already have a Microsoft 365 account, make sure to click on the link I have below to set that up and to download Outlook onto your computer before we get started and before you start following today's video. Now, if you've already done those things, let's go in to share my screen. I am inside of the Outlook calendar that I have here. Um, if you go here, this is where my mail um, inbox is and then I click here and this is my calendar. You can see all these things on the left side. We're only gonna be focusing on the calendar today. Now, inside of Outlook, you create what we call events. Um, to create a new event, you can choose two different ways to do it. One, you can go to a specific spot on your calendar, scroll and select a certain time frame, and then let go, and that will create a um that will create an event for the time that you have selected on the calendar. So here I have selected from 1230 to two, so it already put in the time for Tuesday, the 21st of January. Then what you would do is you would add the title and invite whoever you'd like to invite here. And um, I am gonna show you how to make it a Microsoft Teams meeting in just a second. But the other way that you create an event on your Outlook calendar is if you click on the new events button at the top here, um, you can choose to select event and it will pull up its own window where here again is the title and the invite um, section. Um, and then it also pulled up a bigger window that has even more options than you saw previously. So we're gonna keep inside of this window right now. Once you have filled out all of these things, it's gonna look like this. And you know, you're gonna notice this little um, toggle up here to either turn on and off this toggle, which creates a Teams invite. It makes it a Teams meeting. It adds it to your Microsoft Teams meeting calendar and you're able to select a join button. So if you want this to be a Microsoft Teams meeting, you would select and turn this on, okay? I am in dark mode right now, so it's so it's darker than maybe what you might see, but you basically just want this lit up to be the color that, um, that's, that you've chosen. You basically just want this to be lit up. Then you want to also make sure to um, fill out any notes that you want inside of your meeting or if you wanted to um, change the location of your meeting um, or anything like that, make sure to do that and then click send. When you do that, it should pop it up on your board. I'm gonna go over here and here it is right here. When I click on that event, there is now going to be a join button, okay? That is what I would use to get into the Microsoft Teams meeting itself. But I can view it inside of Microsoft Teams. So if I go to my Teams and I go to my calendar, let it load let it load. Okay, there it is. Now I can see it inside of my um, calendar as well. And when I double click on that, here is the join button on the top. And it has a chat button. Every Microsoft Teams meeting that you create, it also creates a chat for that meeting so you can communicate with the people who are invited. So when you click on this chat icon, it will pull you into the chat that it created for the YouTube recording meeting that you, you know, the event that you created on your calendar. Now you can choose to type in this chat before even the meeting has started. Totally up to you. Or you can wait until you're inside the meeting and you can access the chat through the meeting itself. But that is just a very, very quick tutorial on how you can create a Microsoft Teams meeting inside of Outlook. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more content on Microsoft Teams or Outlook or any Microsoft product, make sure to check out my page where I have a bunch of content on there and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified anytime I upload new content. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.